Some really interesting news was posted last night pertaining to the future of Call of Duty and honestly, this has the potential to either make or break the franchise because a new job listing was posted which reads 2022 is a stellar opportunity for Call of Duty with an extraordinary lineup of innovations in curated player experiences, multi-platform gameplay, subscription-based content, mobile game development and a move to an always-on community and player connectivity. We call this Call of Duty 2.0 and in the era of Call of Duty 2.0 this leader will extend the COD brand authentically in ways that engage core audiences and ignite and excite new ones. They will add cultural fuel to COD marketing overall. They will extend and add meaning to COD's creative ideas. So Call of Duty is going to be moving to a subscription based model sometime this year in 2022 presumably with the release of of Modern Warfare 2 at the end of the year. We have had recent leaks about Modern Warfare 2's user interface being updated to sort of resemble Netflix, where you can scroll between each of the different games, including Warzone. And right now, it's really uncertain how this subscription-based Call of Duty system is going to work. Are you going to be able to just buy the standard Call of Duty games for $60 or $70, or will you instead just pay a monthly subscription or a yearly subscription to to get access to that game or potentially even all Call of Duty games. Other people have been thinking that maybe this subscription service will just give you access to the new yearly Call of Duty releases as well as the battle passes or something like that. The thing is though, right now we have no idea what this subscription service even entails and until we find out, it's merely up for speculation. But like I said at the start, I truly believe that this could either be the best thing for the franchise or the worst thing for the franchise. It just depends on how it is executed because recently there's been a Grand Theft Auto subscription service and everyone hates it so they want to see a different model. People have been asking for a model similar to Fortnite but I don't think that's a good idea either. I think that Call of Duty are going to be trying to emulate something like a TV subscription service like Netflix. That's probably what they're going to want to do for Call of Duty and the thing is this is going to go into effect in 2022 and we know that Microsoft are going to be acquiring Activision including Call of Duty in 2023. So most likely all Call of Duty games will be available on the Xbox Game Pass. But maybe there's going to be a separate Call of Duty only subscription service. And the thing is the way they're sounding it sounds like it's going to connect all the Call of Duties together. So you might just get access to all Call of Duties, but they even mentioned how it's going to connect players to mobile. So I don't really know how this is going to work. This is going to be a subscription service that is going to span across all platforms, including mobile devices. I Ideally, if they go this route, I would like to see it as a good excuse for them to start releasing a lot more Call of Duty spin-off games, for example, a Zombies-only game, or a bunch of remasters, like a Black Ops 2 remaster. Maybe you pay X amount monthly or yearly, and you get all games free. They can then sway away from the yearly Call of Duty mediocrity and degeneracy, where we just get a basic Call of Duty game released every single year, it's pumped out, it's rushed. Well, if they go for the subscription model, it's going to to allow for more creativity because they don't have to rely on people buying the game every single year. And they can also release games whenever they want. They can keep releasing games throughout the year. We could literally get more than one COD game released throughout the year. We could have one main game and a spin-off game, a remaster. And we know that Call of Duty are delving into free-to-play games too, so it can all be mashed together. If done right, I believe that a subscription service would allow for more risks and diversity. Although I am kind of worried that this subscription service could end up being some Something very basic and boring where it just gives you access to the main games as well as the battle pass and maybe some bonus COD points or something like that and skins and bundles in the store. So yeah, people are thinking that this could be some sort of Call of Duty Elite 2.0. Call of Duty Elite was an old subscription service from Call of Duty back in the day. I don't think it's really going to be anything like that. Like I said, I think this is going to be something that's going to be more comparable to TV subscription services. And we know that Call of Duty are potentially going to have a movie in the future. So if Call of Duty branches out to TV and movies, then maybe there's just going to be an Activision subscription service in the future where you get access to all Activision games as well as any of their TV shows or movies if they end up starting to produce loads in the future. Also, the thing is, if they are going to a subscription service model, we've had free DLC and post-launch content since Modern Warfare, but if they're going to a subscription-based model, could they potentially go back to paid DLC where you have to now pay a subscription in order 
to get the post-launch content or you'll just be forced to buy it separately. Yeah, I have no idea how they're going to implement this subscription service. It needs to be done right though. That is what I'm worried about. There is big potential for this to go catastrophically wrong and completely mess up the franchise, which is why I think this is either a make or break for the franchise. Right now, this information just leaves us with more questions than answers. It doesn't answer anything. We have no idea what this subscription service is. All we know is that Call of Duty is moving into a new era. We are saying goodbye to yearly Call of Duty games and games just constantly pumped out every single year for 60 or $70. That model is outdated. Most games now are moving to free-to-play games with skins you can buy and that's how they make the majority of their money. I think Call of Duty and Activision are trying to move to a subscription service model as well as free-to-play games and they're tapping into that mobile audience too. We know Call of Duty 2023, Treyarch's next title, has been delayed by a year and is instead releasing in 2024 and in 2023 we're potentially seeing a free-to-play game with some sort of weird building mechanic and we may be seeing a remastered game in that year as well. But yeah, that's everything I wanted to say in this video. Let me know in the comment section down below what do you think this subscription service is going to be? Do you think this is going to be good for the franchise or bad? Like I said, it all depends on how it's executed. It doesn't really matter that they're doing a subscription service when we know no information about it right now and until we find that out, it's really hard to judge. Anyways, thank you for watching the video and make sure to subscribe if you're not here for the latest and greatest Call of Duty news and information. So anyways, thank you for watching and uh, bye.